today we're gonna be mocking up the front end so yeah let's get it guys <music> You're gonna have to choose between having a weld in tube front end or a bolt on tube front end. I went with the bolt on that way I can just swap it out, make a new one if I have to. Um, so, for the bolt on, you're gonna need two plates for each placement. Um, for instance, this one's gonna go right here, and then this plate's gonna be welded onto the strut tower, and then this one is gonna be bolted onto the welded plate. So, my front end's gonna be welded in, in three different places. The first one is gonna be at the strut tower which is going to be here. So the other one's going to be welded on the actual chassis of the car, which is going to be here. And last but not least, the last place is going to be welded here. The next step would be choosing the location of your bolts. In my case, it's right here. I'm going to have to drill the strut tower out. That way the nuts that are going to be welded on the back of this plate will fit through the strut tower. So when you have your placement of your holes, you pretty much drill them out. I have half inch bolts so I drilled my holes out to half inch and what you do to make it easier on yourself is you grab the bolt, shove it through and then you get the nut that's going to be welded on the side and pretty much just screw it on. Same on the other side. And what this does now is you can pretty much weld it on without holding the actual nut on the back of the plate. So after that's done, you get your center punch, you line the two plates up like this, make sure they're both even all the way around. You get your center punch and then punch it right in the middle of the nut. Once you have them centered, pretty much just drill them out. So now that you have one side finished, you pretty much do the exact same things on these. Drill them. Weld the nut on the back, drill the other one, that way they match evenly, bolt it up, and you pretty much end up with a product like this. So now that I have these done, the ones that are going to go on the strut tower, just pretty much have to do the same thing to the ones that are going to go in the front. Now these, I'm going to do it right in the middle because I'm going to have a, a tube that comes out maybe three inches and then it's going to go around as so and come down to this one. Plates 
plates are done and your front plates are done, what I'm going to do is cut out three feet of inch and a half by 0.09 wall thickness uh, tubing. That way I can mock up pretty much where and how long this is going to be and to know where the tube is going to meet on here. That way I know where to drill my holes out. So after you have your tubing cut out on mine, uh, it's going to start bending from the strut tower to 10 inches. So from right here is when it's actually going to start bending down and then meet the middle of that. So now what I have to do is pretty much get to bending. So I pretty much ended up with this. I did have to shorten it a little bit over here. Um, I did a 65 degree bend, but if you see here, I am gonna have to notch it at the bottom, that way it sits flush with the plate right here. So now what's next is, uh, I'm gonna have to drill out the holes, that way the nuts on the back of the plate can go through the strut tower and then I'm gonna weld it on here. So I got it welded in place. I did clean it up with the wire brush. Uh, there's a lot of uh, almost like a black smoke around the weld. So I cleaned that up. Uh, that's pretty much how it came out. That. You have to be like super careful, especially with this sheet metal since it's so thin. Um, I was going to weld all of it completely, but then I just decided to tack weld it uh, pretty much all over the place. Uh, I grinded it down right here because some of the welds did go over and it was going to interfere with the uh, flatness of this plate uh, meeting on this surface. So I did grind this down um, in the bottom as well because you see here these plates um, or this, these welds go over onto the plate and I don't really want to grind or flat disc that down because I feel like it's going to mess with the, with the strength of the actual uh, weld. So I just grinded this down. Uh, this is how it fits so far. It has no no movement whatsoever. It's completely flat on surface. So here it is, not bolted up. I still have to do that other side. And then the tube's gonna go right in the center of those two bolts. Just like that. And then this one's gonna come down and meet that. So yeah guys, uh, I think I'm going to call it a night. Um, pretty much I'm going to start off exactly where I left off tomorrow. Um, and I am going to finish this side as well. Uh, I still need to drill the inch holes on this side for the nuts, for these nuts to go into the strut tower. Um, I'll drill the holes out tomorrow, I'll weld it in place. Um, I'll try to get that tacked up in place. And then after that, um, I'll pretty much start on the uh, on the U-bar for the radiator support. And then after that, bolt it off completely, weld it all the way complete, and then bolt it back on and it's good to go. But yeah guys, see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so it is yet another day. As of yesterday, we finished this strut tower over here and now we gotta do the exact same thing over here. So let's get straight to it guys. <laughs> So I ended up with the finished product like this. And then same thing on this side. I also had to shave it down because these welds came on top of the actual plate. So I trimmed it down over here and also down here. And this is how it fits. And this is how it looks bolted on.
Okay, so now I gotta make a tube that's the exact same as that. Okay, so I got my two identical pieces. They're both bent, uh, bent at 65 degrees. Now what I'm gonna have to do is notch right here on both sides. That way the tube can clear the way to the plate that's gonna go on the bottom. So I'm gonna pretty much U it out down there. That way I can weld it. is put on my fender because what I want to do is for my tube to be parallel with the fender and so basically it's gonna be roughly like this and then this I trimmed it down to where it would sit fairly flush so now pretty much my bolts will be going roughly right here so that's where I like the placement uh, like I said, I do. I did have to cut a little bit of this out, and then that's. I want it to be completely parallel with the fender, but this is how it sits. So now, I'm gonna drill these holes, weld the nuts on the back of a plate, uh, drill the holes through this, and then do the exact same thing on that other side. So I got both of my center punches. I then drilled out my pilot holes, drilled out my half inch holes. Now I'm going to repeat this process with the four plates. You bolt them up and prep them for welding. Okay, so as of yesterday, we just had that finished and the bar coming down. Um, today, I pretty much went ahead and welded this in place. So that's how that came out. I made the exact same bar um, from that side. Pretty much duplicated it. Uh, so that other one's going to be coming down right here to the sh to the chassis. I went ahead and drilled the holes out. These are ready to be welded. After those are welded, we're going to weld the uh, the tubing that comes out of the plate on here. Also the plates to the chassis on both sides. I still gotta cut it right here, same like on this side. Yeah, now let's get to the front ones. So I got these finished, welded up in place. They're bolted on. You can see there's a bolt going through here. What I'm gonna do is weld the U onto these little bars that come out, and it's gonna come up. That way I can take it off through this little hole right here. It's the same on both sides. So that's how this one is. I got the other one finished as well. Same thing, you got a bolt going through straight. So yeah, now I'm gonna tack this one in place. I'm gonna tack that one in place. Once that's done, I'm gonna try to get the U made. look fucking badass like let's just take a moment like just look at it you know just look at it it's done I have to redo that uh, right here I have uh, two inches and an eighth uh, exactly where the bench starts to the fender and over here I only have an inch and three quarters so I'm gonna have to move this a little bit more out that way I can get the extra clearance and be exactly the same as that side as best as I can I retack that side like three times 
Um, but I have pretty much exactly where the bend starts from here, from the edge of the tube to the fender. I have two inches and an eighth. And on the other side, exact same spot, I have two inches. Um, I wanted to get it perfectly, but I doubt you'll be able to see an eighth with your eyes. So that's that side. Move on to this side. All right, so now I'm gonna take the fenders off, the front bumper, and then I'm gonna start on the U-Bend. Pretty much this is gonna go on top of here, as so. Obviously, I'm gonna cut it a little bit shorter, that way it can be even with the radiator. So now what I have to do is chop it down to size, that way it's even with the radiator and then tack it in place. So I got it tacked in place. Uh, the hard part is gonna be filling in this gap right here. Uh, but I'm gonna weld it all the way around. I'm gonna weld it also. I'm gonna weld the tube also to the plate in the back because you see here this tack. Uh, same thing on the other side. Uh, this is how level it is. I'm kind of actually really proud of it. I got it within one degree off of this, so that's that side. I'll transfer this over to this side. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a good reading because of this, these welds. And this side is at. See if it focuses in. Come on, bitch. It's at one degree as well. So I have this. The difference between these two is pretty much one degree. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, now I'm gonna move on to making the bars that go across from here. Sad to say, I had to redo it. I had to make it shorter because if it was even with the radiator, it kind of hit my hood. So I pretty much cut out that, um, the little hook that hooks onto the latch. Um, I'm gonna use pins going through the hood anyways to hold the hood down so it doesn't fucking matter. Um, but instead of it being level with the radiator, it's now this low. I'd say maybe three to four inches lower. Um, same thing, I have attacked. Uh, so now I have my, I cut 16 inches of this tubing. And it's pretty much gonna go like this. I just have to notch it, obviously. I'm gonna have to notch it down here, and then also down here, and I'm gonna do that for both sides. So instead of it looking like this, with this, finally after hours of cutting, trimming, and grinding down, and fitting, and then cutting and trimming again, it's fucking done. <laughs> uh, there's how this side's gonna fit, and then it's exactly identical on the other side. So now just time to tack it in. This is how it looks, tacked in place. So there's from the bottom of the tube to the top of the tube, it's 13.5 uh, inches. And then from he the very bottom of this tube going up it, to the bottom of this tube, it's 10 and a half or uh, 10 inches. And that's the same on both sides. I got the angle exactly the same on both sides. Here is 11, 10, 11 or 10 degrees. And then on here, it's the exact same. So yeah, next step would be to move on with these, um, the, the braces for the fenders. So you see here, if you look underneath, pretty much made this template right here at a flat bar. I drilled it, that one's bolted up. And this is pretty much what's gonna be under it. And so I got my drills, I got my drilled holes. I'm gonna run nuts and bolts through here and pretty much run uh, square tubing from here uh, to the actual brace, that way it supports the fenders. Oh, 
Okay, so now with this support, I can add on my three other supports since the fender will move side to side. And I made sure I had the clearance um, between the fender and the hood correctly and even on both sides. So yeah, let me just tack on these sides and then I can move on to the next. So I have this tacked in, and then these supports tacked in. On this one, the fender only has two bolts, um, and it's a little bit closer, uh, this support to this one, um, than on this side. It has three uh, holes. So what I'm going to do is end up moving this one exactly where this hole is at, and then drilling this hole out, and then putting the nut and bolt through here. But I'm going to do that some other day. It's 3 o'clock in the morning and I'm tired. Uh, but this is how it ended up, guys. I'm actually pretty uh, happy with it. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you guys liked the video, uh, be sure to drop a like, subscribe, all that bullshit. But until next time, guys, peace.